This is going to be a basic explanation of how a VitaRoot tri-state sensor works. Uh, I'm going to introduce you to the, this is a VitaRoot part number 0794390-420. We commonly call it a dash 420 sensor or a bell sensor. Uh, we call it a bell sensor because it kind of looks like a bell. It has a float inside, a single float, and then it almost looks like a bell. Um, these are commonly used in AST steel tanks. Um, you could also use them in a sump environment. Um, and it basically would be programmed into the VitaRoot as a tri-state sensor. So let's explain the three states using an ohm meter. Uh, the tri-state sensor is just that, three states. You'll have your first state at rest or not an alarm. Um, you can tell that by across the leads. If you get an ohm reading uh, right around 100 kilo ohms, somewhere between 55 and 135 kilo ohms. So in at rest, the float is at rest, and you'll see that this meter is now reading about 89 kilo ohms. So that's almost 100 kilo ohms, somewhere between 55 and 135 kilo ohms. That's at rest or not an alarm. So when these are set up uh, to be fault detection. So as long as the VitaRoot sees that ohm reading uh, inside the detection circuit, it knows that it has a sensor on the end. So the second state is a closed condition or in alarm condition where the float has been activated. In this case, we're just gonna flip it upside down put it back on the ohm meter, and what we're looking for is something under 50,000 ohms, 50K. In this case, we're almost a dead short. It's three ohms across. So that would indicate an alarm condition, and that's the second state of the tri-state sensor. The third state is basically, if one of these lines gets broken away for whatever reason, the contractor is digging, the backhoe cuts across the lines, the conduit cuts these cables, your leads come undone, your ohm uh, reading is going to go off scale, something over 150 kilo ohms. In this case, it's obviously not making contact, uh, so it's out of range of my volt meter or my ohm meter.